Okay, so this is a quick video on a fuel filter water separator change on this compact utility tractor. This is my dad's tractor. This particular one is a 4720, but um, this might apply to some others. I'm going to show you a way to deal with the, uh, the air that's in the filter that nobody else that I can see has talked about. Um, it's real simple. Um, this is the fuel filter change. Uh, the fuel filter and water separator here in the engine bay. Um, for those of you who don't know, what you would do is come behind. Uh, I've got this 400X loader that's kind of in the way. But um, the procedure goes that you take this uh, fuel filter and you twist it this direction to unlock it. You wiggle it and it'll come off. Um, this is the old filter. Kind of what it looks like it's got a couple of locking tabs apparently that lock in the top um, and the procedure is actually on the back of the filter if you look at number four it says you'll hear a slight click when you reinstall it um, you twist it this direction to reinstall it after once you push it up um, and it'll, it's supposed to lock in place i didn't hear a click but there was a definite stop once I twisted and I had to twist pretty hard. Um, the procedure that I've seen on YouTube after that is uh, you take and um, you have to get the air out of this filter so it doesn't get all down these lines and 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 because uh, the tractor won't, tractor won't crank. Uh, so what the procedure is is you take this bleeder valve here and you just use a flathead screwdriver and you just un unscrew it just a little bit to let the air out. Um, then what you do, the air's not gonna come out by itself, what you do is you take this plunger, and this is a plunger, and, you, and it's hard. You push, 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 and you're pumping uh, the diesel back into the filter. And you're supposed to pump it until it gets hard. Um, most people I've seen online, they have, to, they have to pump it till it gets hard, try to crank the tractor, rev it up uh, with the throttle, try to crank it, try to crank it, um, pump it up, try to crank it, and do that three or four times. Uh, there's been some other procedures, but what I simply did is before I put this filter on, I filled this thing up with diesel. Um, and also, this may not be necessary, I cracked this open, and when I shoved the filter on, there was a little poof of diesel that came out. So I knew there was, most of the air was gone out of here. Um, I closed this back up, <clears throat> and when I started the tractor, I never touched this plunger. Um, I started the tractor at idle. It started like nothing was ever done to it. I let it idle for five or six minutes. I revved it up, let it run for a few minutes. Um, there was no indication of air in the system whatsoever. So the easiest thing that I can see is simply fill your fuel filter up with diesel before you go to install it. Fill it straight to the, all the way to the top. Um, this is one of the easiest procedures you can do to this tractor um, as far as maintenance goes. And um, um, if you fill it up first, you never had to touch this plunger, or, or I didn't. Um, and this is one of the simplest things you can do. Uh, so don't be nervous like I was before I did it.